We have so much to get to today. We begin, and it was a crazy weekend. And obviously now everyone can take a deep breath. And today I'm sure no matter what you hear, you'll hear, well, you know, I was the one who told you G. Eric Jeter would get going. Hey, I think very few of us thought Derek Jeter was through. I don't know if there's going to be a whole lot of days like yesterday, but yesterday was a day that will obviously get everybody to calm down for a while now. I mean, now you can you won't hear any calls about Jose Reyes for a while. It was a day where finally Derek uh, Jeter, and listen, he'd been having better swings if you watch all the Yankee games. He put the zing back in uh, the game yesterday, obviously, with a uh, Jeterian blast in the fifth. And then uh, one to follow. So uh, the, really both of them. The first is a real Jeterian blast. The second one was even a little more of a uh, power stroke than you usually even see from Derek. But you know what? A two home run day, a four RBI day, a four hit day, and a day that will get Derek Jeter and a lot of other people to relax. And that's a, a very good thing. So. Uh, the Yankee captain can now go after his pursuit and not have to hear about how his days are uh, numbered, uh, which, listen, nobody thought they really were, unless you're in a very ex extreme minority, thought that his days were numbered this year. Now, again, what lies ahead? We'll wait and see. We'll let it, let it unfold. We'll see what kind of year he has. We'll see how good it gets. But uh, as I said the uh, last week, there was no issue he was going to be the, the uh, shortstop this year. There's no issue he will start being the shortstop next year. After that, we'll see what happens. No one knows if this is a three-year ride or not. For Jorge Posada, who is closer to being in trouble than Jeter ever was uh, because he's playing a position where you need to produce. He's a DH. Uh, he got a very, very, I'd say, very interesting Vote of confidence after he broke his one for, his 0 for 15 streak. And I think well, he's got to hit some more to stay in that role every day. We'll see how that unfolds. The Yankees were unbelievably sloppy. Plus, they haven't pitched great. Colon obviously uh, showing the first sign of any weakness this year with what he did the other night. Uh, yesterday, hey, Sabathia got himself in trouble too. So did the defense get him in trouble. He deserved far better than he had in the first inning. We know that. From A-Rod's play to Gardner's play to the walks in between, three runs on one hit is, not, is a little much. Uh, but, you know, that's what happened to get the game started. But the Yankees bounced back with some power from unlikely places, Jeter and Savelli, and were able to uh, get a win and get out of Texas and kind of make the trip a little better. Winning two out of three in Texas made the trip better. And now the Yankees come home to take on the Kansas City Royals tomorrow night. Uh, so, and they will do that. And now everyone can uh, calm down, obviously. Be more leery now. I think now you will see. And there's still some guys who have to hit. Hoy, A-Rod sure hasn't been ripping the ball. There are some guys who need to get their, their hitting going. But now I think you will see, now that the Jeter thing has calmed down, you will see the eyes turn right back to the starting pitching, which is always going to be the main story for the Yankees. And as that starts to get a little shaky there'll be a lot of talk about a lot of different players and as we head towards june and then when we get deeper into june those talks will become very serious from here all the way to seattle and back and everywhere in between